Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix isden.dll and anarch.dll error for the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare and its name might also be like isagextract.exe so don't worry if you are facing this problem while installation of the game I will show you 5 steps, perform all of the steps, stick to the end of the video and your problem will be surely fixed, it's my assurance so let's get started first step is a really important one in this one we'll be clean booting a pc so if you know how to clean boot your pc you can simply do it or if you have no idea on how to do it i've made a separate quick guide of 2 minutes 45 seconds in which i have shown how to do it it's a complete and quick guide so i will provide you link of this video in the description of this video you can access that by clicking in the description clicking the link in the description of this video and just watch this video clean boot your pc and proceed to the second step now the second step works for most of the users, in this one we will be disabling our antivirus. So different PCs have different antivirus software, so I will be showing you how to disable Windows Defender as it's a default antivirus installed in Windows. So just search for Defender in your search bar and go to virus and threat protection settings. Wait for it to load and here it might take few seconds to load depending on your PC's configuration. Here under virus and threat protection settings click on manage settings. In manage settings, turn off real time protection and you don't have to turn it off permanently, you have to turn it off for the meantime your installation is taking place. So once you have installed the game successfully and the game is working then you can again turn it on but till the game is being installed just keep it off. So this that's it for the first step and it works for most of the users. Now let's come to the third step and I have to mention that third and the fourth step are the most important one so please watch them carefully and perform them before, before installing your game. So in the third step all you have to do is just change your setup folder name and change the directory of the game. It's quite simple to do. So the PC I'm using for recording is not having Call of Duty Modern Warfare's repack. So I will be showing you with the help of Game Vampire. And you have to do the same with Call of Duty Modern Warfare repack. So it's quite simple to do. Just right click on your setup folder. Your For your its name will be Call of Duty Modern Warfare repack. For me it's Vampire. And change its name to anything ex except the default name. So you can add 2, 5, anything, any number in front of the name of your repair folder. You have to just change its name. So I am making it Vampire25. So you have to do it same, do the same for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You have to add Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3 or anything else. Now open the setup folder here. Wait for it to load. It might take few seconds depending on your PC's configuration. And for you it might be anything else, I mean the name of the setup file might be something else like COD, MWD pack or anything else. So now click on English and again wait for the setup to load. And here it is the setup. Now if you are having this option to limit installer to 2GB of RAM usage, tick it otherwise just click on next then next and here this is the most important part so please listen carefully so here you have to change its default location to anywhere except the c drive so by default it is in c drive program file it is x so just change it to d drive anywhere except the c drive you can save it in any drive anywhere just except the c drive but if your pc is having just single drive like only c drive is present in your pc all you can do then is just go to your C drive and change its default location to anything else. So for example, it might be by default program files into 86 folder. You can change its location to any other folder except the default folder. You can change it to program files or any other folder in the C drive only. So preferably just try to change the drive if you are having any other drive and then click on next and then surely your problem will be eliminated. But if it still doesn't work, then proceed to the fourth step it is also really important. So in the fourth step what we'll be doing is we'll be changing the priority of your setup to high. So this step is really important so please do perform it and it fixes this problem for most of the users. So just right click on your task manager or task bar and click on task manager. And here in task manager select your setup. For you the name of the setup might be something else for me it is setup vampire. Just right click on it and go to its details. And here you will be having two files setup.tmp and setup.exe. Change both of their priority to real time either real time or high both will work and once you have done it just close your task manager and then click on next so before starting the installation process please do remember to change the setup priority to high 
and once you have done it most probably now your problem will be fixed and if it still doesn't fix your problem then proceed to the last step and your problem will be surely fixed in the last step we'll be downloading the dll files so the dll files we have to download is download isden.dll and here go to the first link by dllfiles.com and in the new tab i'll be writing download anarch.dll so here here also click on the first link by dllfiles.com so just scroll down and download the latest version of this file i'll be downloading this one as you can see it's written 32 bit don't worry even if you are having 64 bit version because this file works for both 32 and 64 bit pcs download it and do the same with an arc.dll and once it's downloaded just go to your downloads folder here is my download folder here just search for isden.dll first of all and here it is isden.dll open it and here select this file and extract it to acer c or your c drive go to windows and then if you're having a 32 bit version of pc i if you are having a 32 bit pc just extract them to system 32 but if you're having a 64 bit pc extract them to syswar 64 i'm having a 64 bit pc so i'll be extracting it to syswar 64 and replace yes to all and you have to do exactly same with an arc.dll just search for an arc.dll open this rar file and extract it to syswar64 if you are having 64 bit pc or and system32 if you are having uh 32 bit 32 bit pc so i'll again search for syswar64 and here it is and i'll be extracting it so that was the last step and once you have performed all the five steps your error will be surely eliminated and your game will be installed fine and will be working fine so thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day